Blind Eggnog Battle. Let's taste this. Happy Holidays from Let's Taste This. What's the most refreshing holiday drink you can think of? That's right, eggnog. Today we're gonna to do a blind eggnog taste test set up by the elusive producer. We have four different brands of eggnog here. I don't know what they are, I don't know what order they're in, and I'm gonna taste each one and we're gonna rate them. We're gonna start over here. Uh, looks like eggnog, disgusting. This one smells like, hmm, it's got like a vanilla smell for sure. Yeah, smells like what, what I would expect from eggnog. Um, very important thing with eggnog for all you eggnog novices out there is when you have it in a clear glass like this, you wanna get that residue, that real, when you just tip it around the glass like that, get that really beautiful like residue. That means you know you're drinking something extremely heavy and you're not gonna be doing yard work or shoveling snow after you have eggnog. Let's see how it tastes. Wow, it's actually pretty strong. Uh, and when I tip the glass, I can see the little bits of vanilla in there, so that means you know it's authentic. This eggnog was pretty good. I'm gonna say it set the bar. These other eggnogs, they've got a lot to live up to. Let's move on to number two. This one has a more yellowy color. And in this clear glass, when I tip it a little bit, you can see like a, a, a deeper yellow residue. Reminds me of, of uncooked egg yolk. Mmm, delicious. This one barely has any smell at all, but you know what that means. Don't be deceived. It could have a very strong taste. Let's do the disgusting residue test. That's the thing about eggnog. I like eggnog, but it is gross. Interesting coverage. Yes, yellowy, disgusting. Let's taste it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is good but it's got something, maybe like a nutmeg or something. There's something extra in here. It's not, the first one was vanilla. This one, there's something else going on here. That's really strange. It's, it's like, I can't put my finger on it. This one is a mystery. This one is like, is like um, that girl at the party that's like in the corner and she's like looking at you and you're like, I don't know what her deal is, but there's something about her. This one's pretty good. I don't know. It's, it's like not better or worse, just different. One was good. Two is interesting. Let's try three. Looks good. I can see those little vanilla bits. That's very encouraging. I'm, I'm glad that these eggnogs like actually have little vanilla bits, unless they're like ground up pieces of paper or something, you know, just to make you think that it's vanilla. So this one, the, the smell, this one actually smells like there is whiskey or rum in it, but that's, we're not doing that. So that's a little odd that it would smell like that. I, I put this smell somewhere in between number one and number two. Oh, gross. I think that's good. Let's taste it again. This is like out of left field. This tastes like butter cookies. It tastes like ground up, liquefied, grossified cookies. But what we're focusing on here is that eggs are kind of gross, but they taste so good. Eggnog is gross, but it tastes good and it's a great holiday drink. One left. This one has sort of a yellowy shade like number two, um, our wild card. Very, very faint smell, but as we learned, and as you know, just because there's no smell, it doesn't mean there's no taste. And that's true of most things. Let's do the uh, residue test. Uh-huh. Thinner. Oh, that's interesting. It's a little bit thinner than the other ones. All right, let's taste it. Very strong vanilla flavor. Kind of like the first one. Again, I can see those vanilla beans in there. I hope those are vanilla beans. I keep seeing them in each one. I'm like, oh, there's vanilla, it's vanilla. And then I look on the ingredients list and there's probably like no vanilla in here. It's just dirt or something. This tastes like straight up watered down vanilla pudding. I can't really taste the egg. I know you're not really supposed to. Of course, all these would be better if they had rum in them. Let's recap. Number one, strong vanilla flavor. This is a traditional eggnog. This is an eggnog you bring home to mom. Number two, wild card. She doesn't want to come home and meet mom. She wants to take you away from mom forever and like go on a road trip. But then her ex-husband who was in jail like gets out and like crashes the party. Wait, that's something wild, which is a great movie. That's this one. This is Melanie Griffith and something wild. That's what this is. Number three, I can't really remember, which is bad. Not memorable. Not your fault, Agnog. It's just the way that you were made. So I'm going to rank you last. This one would be best friends with this first eggnog. Number four, number one, these are like besties. They taste very similar, both pretty good. This one's not bad either. It's just like kind of bland. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, we're gonna rank these eggnogs. I have to say my least favorite was number three. Let's see what it was. 
Garlic Farms Holiday Eggnog. Not a bad nog. You could do worse than this nog, but of these four, this is my least favorite. A little bit bland, a little bit forgettable. Next on the list, Lactaid. Lactaid lactose-free eggnog, easy to digest. So this is for everybody that's lactose intolerant. Not a bad nog at all. In fact, I give this, this gets like a special award, like a grand jury prize or something, because this one, uh, not my favorite, but I never would have known that it was lactose free. I never would have known that. Second place, first one that I tried, and that's Oakhurst Eggnog, the natural goodness of Maine. So this is a local one. This is a local contender. Um, it's important to eat local. This one, Tasted very similar to the lactate one. So again, compliments to the lactate because you rose to the occasion and you taste it as good as a local, hearty, main eggnog. This was the eggnog you bring home to mom. But I have to say my favorite out of these four was the second one I tried. I'm, I'm so, I'm, are you, can you feel it? Cause I'm super nervous right now. I don't know what, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hood limited edition golden eggnog. Limited edition is right because a nog like this does not come along very often. This one, it just it, like I said, it had that flavor. It had that taste that I just couldn't quite put my finger on. I have to investigate. I have to look at the ingredients. Um, milk, as to be expected. Cream, sugar, high fructose corn syrup, egg yolks, uh, fat-free milk and natural flavors, uh, gourd gum, that's gross, uh, salt, carrageen. I don't know if that's uh, like a chemical or something. Uh, yellow number five and six, those are probably really bad for you, but uh, they're at the bottom of the list. There's not that many in them. The point is that this one, far and away, th th this had that special something. I don't know what makes eggnog golden. It's probably the yellow five and number six, but you know what? I don't care because it tastes great. So there you have it. There's your blind eggnog taste test. It's gross, it's great, drink up. Thank you very much for watching. Happy holidays. Please subscribe. And if you'd like us to taste something that we haven't tasted yet, let us know in the comments. You know that stuff in egg that's like, it won't beat with the rest of it? Like it won't dissolve. It's that clear like gel. Do you know what that's called? It's called albumin. Isn't that disgusting? Even that word is disgusting. It makes me want to vomit. Albumin.